Welcome, my fellow champions of the old world. I hope you're all doing well. And today, my friends, we're back with the Kissel versus Corn Showdown. It's going to be Boris Ursus facing off against the Exalted Bloodthirster. So it should be quite a Royal Rumble in here in the background. You can hear the speech of Boris. So as you actually do load into both replays as well as domination battles, there's like a speech coming in from your Lord, which is really, really cool. But what I was going to say before he interrupted me with that epic speech is that Boris is incredibly good against big armor. He has an anti-large bonus and he gets stronger as he gets more beat up. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of his abilities here. He does have the armor of Orson. So as he gets below 50% HP, he gets all kinds of combat stats. Over here, he does have heroic resilience, which is the standard ability for the boyars. And on top of that, he has the shard blade, a really nice ability that does AOE damage and also slows enemies. So if he's trying to get somebody, you can slow them instantly with this. And a really cool one is the Fury of Ursin. So this rampages him, also makes him cause terror, and gives him crazy combat stats. So he's pretty awesome for sure. And I do think of all the matchups I've played so far, I think the one that he's probably going to be most pertinent in is probably against Korn. Korn does have a lot of big armor via their Blood Crushers, Skull Crushers, Demons, things like that. Um, so I think he's going to be pretty good here. Now, the rest of the build, which is very normal in terms of how I play against Korn, is using the Heavy War Sleds. These things are basically good against everything on the Korn roster. I mean, they don't really do terribly well against Flesh Hounds, but against the Infantry, they can shoot them. Infantry that uh, have Halberds, they can shoot. Infantry that don't, they can run over. They have really good mass, so they're incredibly tough to trap in place, and I really like the Heavy War Sleds. I honestly think the Heavy War Sleds as well as the Winged Lancers, are probably the best units on the roster. Frost Maiden with Ice here, so we do have the Slowing Ability, as well as uh, the Wind Spell, which is there to deal with like Blood Letters and things like that. Now, for my opponent's forces, he's going to be coming in with the big man himself, the Exalted Bloodthirster, two Cultists of Corn, as well as a couple Halberd Infantry. So very, very strong build for sure. The Halberd Infantry are exceptional against Kislev. Uh, your Kisselvite infantry can fight them okay. Like, if you bring in Zargard, they will beat up the Chaos Warriors of Korn. But if you go in with, like, Armored Kossars, even if they're facing a Halberd unit, they typically don't trade super cost-effectively. The Korn infantry just have better stats and do have that frenzy, and they don't really mess around. So it's a very, very, you know, good matchup. I think that Korn versus Kislev is incredibly even. And I would say that Kislev is probably, like, a solid S-tier multiplayer faction. They seem to have pretty good matchups across the board. Uh, there is one matchup that is very, very tough that you guys will be seeing in the near future, but aside from that, they have some pretty good ones to say the least. Now, the Chaos Warriors of Corn running here, getting blasted by the Bear Cavalry, so shooting down into the Halberds, trying to kind of pick off a couple models before they can get cozy. But I do kind of have to yield, based on the army composition, that he's going to be able to get the objectives, and I will have to fight to get them. Which, of course, is fine. Uh, Kislev is pretty good at that. Like, I think the slow push with them is very strong. Sometimes they will give up the early objectives against these, like, Halberd spam builds. But you can slowly grind them off by using Streltsy and your magic and all that sort of neat stuff. So the Bariots are getting up on the high ground. Shooting down into the Chaos Warriors of Corn. We're able to get a couple picks right there. And now Boris is kind of Tokyo drifting around the back. Going to be looking to maybe get a head-on fight and consolidate our forces. Because Corn does have a really, really good entrenched position. Now it looks like maybe some Fury is going to be going in after my Armored Cossars here. These are great weapon Cossars. I brought them out to try and deal with the Corny Halberds. But the Bloodthirster does cause some problems. He gets in there with his big cane and able to take down some of these boys. And the Furies do as well. But Boris is here very quickly. And as soon as the, the Great uh, Tsar does show up, he is able to push back the Greater Demon. We did get some damage on the Fury, so I would say a slight advantage for Korn. They probably came out a little bit ahead on value, but if we can get some picks on the Chaos Furies as they retreat here, that would certainly feel very, very good. Now, the first reinforcements are coming in. It's going to be Streltsy. Streltsy, of course, packed quite a punch. Very, very good against most of these units, but this isn't a good map for Streltsy, and in retrospect, I probably should have brought in Archers, even though they are not good against armor. If I had brought in some Ice Guard up here, I would have had a very good Arc of Fire to kind of bombard these uh, Warriors, whereas my guns are slightly, you know, obstructed by line of sight, especially if they're trying to shoot down into the valley. If you have them here, they can partially see, but this is a tough, tough map for guns. There are several maps in Domination Mode which favor different playstyles, which I think is really cool. One of my favorite things about it, but... Overall here, the Armored Cossars with their pistols are shooting in, getting a little bit of poke and stroke. The objectives haven't opened up yet. They will be in a second, so I'll be capturing the back objective here while the Armored Cossars shoot into these bad boys. They're down to 94 models from the starting uh, mount, which I believe is like just over 100. Yeah, it's 100, so... Yeah, we're going to be pushing as well. So here comes some summoned Blood Letters from the Cornate Cultists on the ground. Very strong. Blood Letters are pretty much a hard counter against Cossars. Uh, they will, you know, basically just outtrade them in terms of stats. They have great armor piercing. And uh, yeah, we're going to be in for a tough fight as the Furies do start to tarp at me. So this is very scary for sure. But what's really cool about Bariots is they do have a bonus for his infantry. So they can actually kill these Furies pretty quickly. And Boris is also going to be jumping over here to help. And many of these Furies will fall. And honestly, I'd be surprised if they even killed one of these Chariots right here. I think we should be able to grind them down. And you can see both Furies are being feasted on by the Glorious Bears here, and we do summon some Dervishes in the back. Now, Strelzi are in position. They're going to be shooting down into the valley, ripping some shots at the Halberds, trying to take them apart. 
The Chaos Warriors of Corn get hammered pretty good, and this is exactly what we want. Just wear down these halberds, try and outvalue my opponent, but you know, there's not a whole lot I can do to get him off the objective quickly. There goes a wind spell. It doesn't do a lot of like damage against armor. Probably should have used it against the blood letters. Granted, they are a summon unit, so I figured they would be disappearing soon, anyways. Now we do have some flesh hounds of corn looking to get around the flank here. Gonna be causing me some problems. So here they come, looking to maybe feast on the mighty Boris. Boris lurking and uh, kind of cackling in the shadows here, preparing for his fight of fights. Now Boris moves in with the crew. We do dogpile in the heavy war sleds, and they're really good in melee too. Like honestly, you can cycle charge with them, but their sustained combat is incredibly strong. Granted, there are halberds here, which is going to be tough, but the idea was to just kind of tar pit this army, let my chariots grind them, and I do use the uh, ice sheet here to slow down these units. That's going to buy a little bit more time for shooting, let me pull back without taking casualties, and just to kind of give me a little bit of flow here in this battle. Now, <clears throat> slight mistake here is I do leave Boris down in the pits. He gets a little bit trapped behind his forces, and there is a Cultus of Corn kind of pinning him in place. And now the Greater Bloodthirster, which has been cackling in the shadows, more so hiding, because he didn't want to get shot by the Streltsy, is going to be coming back in, and Boris is very isolated, and he does indeed stand alone. While I try and get more Streltsy in position, the Coronate Force is able to get a really, really good counter push. And now the Great Tsar here going to be fighting as another wind spell does come down there, going through the Corn Forces pretty effectively. And is that Heart of the Winter? I don't think so, no. That is the AoE spell from Boris, the one that does some pretty good damage and also Frostbites. So to deal with the Flesh Hounds, which are actually large, I summon in some Bear Cavalry. These are the anti-large Kislev Cav, and they do hit very hard. Granted, the Armor Piercing is slightly wasted on the Flesh Hounds. They still are killing the models very quickly, and the Roadblock here is getting even uglier as Corn just throws more and more summons. The portal to hell opens, and more Blood Letters do rush through, but if anybody's going to be enduring this, it's going to be the Kislevites, as these Streltsy do pull back and the Bear Cavalry hold back the tide. Now down on the low ground, Boris is not in his best situation. He's fighting against, you know, a lot of stuff, including halberds, taking quite a bit of damage, but he does get better as he gets more beat up. And now the Greater Bloodthirster is coming into the Steel Chair. Boris will be able to endure this for quite some time, and, you know, that's sometimes what you need, right? You just need a little bit of endurance. Now, as far as the back objective goes, Corn Halberd's holding there. We do have a nobody on the middle objective, so I will be summoning some units there. And the Corn units are crumbling down. Like, most of the Flesh Hounds are starting to fall. And the cost of my dervishes, I figure I have enough here defending. I'm going to send them around the back and see what they can do. But Boris is definitely getting taken down pretty bad. But he's doing what I need him to do, really, which is just survive for as long as possible. His leadership, despite being in a horrible situation, two SEMs, halberds, as well as the exalted bloodthirst are beating on him is pretty good. He's holding up well, and uh, he will get the buy our blood very soon. So now he's unbreakable for 30 seconds. And the great Tsar is going to be fighting, getting a little bit of a paw there on the old exalted bloodthirster, buying time for my old uh, dervishes to do the old back door. So they do get the back door here, and the flesh hounds of corn up in the hill are uh, roadblocked by the cost of dervishes. And I'm trying to steal the objective here. We do have some winged lancers coming in as well. And Boris probably will be falling here in a second. A little bit hard to say. He's got 22 HP. What an absolute Chad fighting this greater demon. Super cool. And is still holding on with that 17 HP, man. Such a beast. And then suddenly, with Boris holding firm, well, breaking in that moment, but he held firm for a long time. Let's give him credit where credit's due. The Kislevite forces and the Bear Cavalry are able to push them back, with the Bariats also helping quite a bit, shooting constantly into the Cornate forces. And the Winged Lancers are just trying to roadblock these uh, these Corn Flesh Hounds from getting on the objective here. But nonetheless, Corn is going to be able to hold it back. The Corn Dogs are very, very strong, incredibly tough to break. And we do see another Halberd Summon that's going to be moving to the middle objective, which is going to make it tough. So Boris does break, but he's at 17 HP. Uh, he's probably going to be able to come back, which is pretty crazy. Truly a testament to the Kislevite leadership. Now, you have to remember, a lot of that, you know, corn army we saw there was summons. Like, we had multiple summon units, which gave them a lot of staying power. But now that we've been able to kind of break the backs of their summons, uh, we are moving up with the slow push. So Boris is uh, going to be coming back in just a second, if memory serves. And the heavy war sleds, the Bariats are going to be moving up with the Bear Cavalry. And we're going to be trying to push corn off this objective as the Winged Lancers do fight some of the cultists down here. And the big bear is going to be pushing up the hill to try and intercept the corn dogs. Corn dogs are a large entity, so the bonus for large of the bears will be very good. And we do also use an ice sheet here to kind of slow them a little bit, keep them from escaping, you know, maximize their casualties. But alas, some of the corn dogs do escape the wrath of my bears and are going to be trying to back cap me here. So currently quite far behind on the objectives. If I do capture the second objective soon, though, I do feel as if I'll be able to hold that and still get the win. It's hard to say. I have a decent amount of points. I've had the back objective for the entire game. And Boris is coming back in with the steel chair at 17 HP. He didn't hear no bell, and he's going to be pushing in and going in after the cultists. Just an absolute G. And he should uh, do pretty good damage against them. They are infantry size, so the bonus for his large doesn't matter. But we do use the Fury of Ursin, which is going to be giving him a bunch of damage. And he immediately steel chairs one of the cultists and absolutely breaks him because that does give him terror. So look at that. The cultist of corn is terrified. 
of the Mighty Tsar, who will be falling in combat here most likely, but with 17 HP fighting to the bitter end and getting really big damage on both the cultists there. So you can see he did terrify one, the other one got a big punch, and that was actually very, very big for helping to win the middle objective. Now, we do have the two Streltsy in position, parked in the alley, and they're ripping excellent shots here into the Chaos Warriors, who are also being run down by chariots. Boris does fall in the end, but not before he does an excellent charge, and at the back, it looks like the corn dogs are trying to take my back objective. So we do have the Flesh Hounds of Corn. Yeah, multiple Flesh Hounds piling in from all directions, but here, the Frostbane of Ice will be moving over. Let's try and help, maybe put a little bit of a slow. And we also need to summon some infantry. So we're gonna try and get back there as quickly as we can. We get some Armored Cossars, which are very good against Corn Dogs. They don't kill them quickly, but they endure. And the Bear Cavalry will be riding back there to try and fight the Doggies. Now, as far as the Cornate Forces, uh, I believe the Greater Demon is hiding somewhere. So he fell back because if he came anywhere near this fight, he would get gunned down by the Streltsy super hard and the Bariats, which of course do have really, really good kind of sniper shots. We also get two uh, Armored Cossars, which I summoned from the high ground point. They're moving into the middle now and they should be able to roadblock. So now we're gonna get the two objectives. The slow is going down here to try and uh, lock down the Flesh Hounds of Corn a little bit, but they are on the objective and the uh, War Bear Riders, they're getting those nice claws and uh, hopefully they can drag down some of the Hounds as I do move them onto the objective. Here they come, such a cool looking unit. They're pretty good against Corn too. Yeah, good against the Cavalry and whatnot. So they get the big charge into the dogs here. Hopefully they'll be able to win. They are very, very beat up, and Corn Dogs are incredibly strong, but they do have some reinforcements coming in from the Dervishes, as well as the Armored Cossars, because if Corn gets this objective, I probably lose the game, honestly. We really, really need to get this, because the middle's pretty secure now. The Cornate forces, including the Cultists, are routed, and the Bariats are going to be moving and threatening the back objective, but I did a little bit of math during the game, which is actually kind of important. I really would like there to be, like, some UI that basically says, like, you have to three cap your opponent or like some sort of a bell goes off that like lets you know the sense of urgency because doing the math in your head can be a little bit tricky but skull crushers of corn moving in these guys are actually super good in the kissel matchup huge armor piercing big melee attack shielded against your missile fire these guys are a pain so the barriers are going to be running some of them do get picked off on the charge and now the kossar is ripping with their pistol shots as the cornate beasts move in getting a nice charge let's see what kind of damage they do yeah certainly not bad one of the cultists is moving back in and the Streltsy are going to be ripping shots into them as well. As far as this backfield engagement goes, the Bears holding, and they just now broke, uh, which was very, very nice, because they did have the uh, the unbreakable trait from the Bayar Blood. And the Armored Kossar is able to move in and get a really, really nice push backed up with the Bear Cavalry. And also the Winged Lancers have arrived! Yes, they have! They've lanced down these dogs. So hopefully the Corn Dogs will be sent back to the Carnival from whence they came. Now, we've secured the back objective. It's really going to be more important to hold the middle here. Streltsy are quite beat up. The Bariats are holding back these Skull Crushers. Not an easy fight. Skull Crushers will be very good against the Bariats, but the Bears have armor piercing and the guns on the top will be shooting in combat, which is quite nice. My Streltsy, of course, very, very compromised by a bunch of doggies that did swarm in from the back. So Korn's mobility really proven to be a huge pain and Boris has returned. So I saved up the resources to resummon Boris, which is very risky because it does minimize your numbers on the battlefield. But I figured in terms of like fighting the greater demon, having the great Tsar back from his wounded state would be quite good. So here he is, he's moving in once again, at trying to grind through all the corn furies. And uh, the big demon here, causing problems. Deathbringer and Bloodthirst is active, so he's really just hammering my bear chariots. And the middle objective is still ours, the Streltsy and Armored Kossars fighting on the objective. Streltsy are pretty good in combat, especially with Boris fighting shoulder to shoulder with standard ground. And in the back, some hounds still trying to fight on the objective, but the Kossars should be able to win this. They're uh, very resilient. 80 armor, pretty good melee defense, and of course, with Bayer Blood, it's going to be very uh, hard to knock them off. Now, it looks like there's going to be a Cornate Bombardment. The Corn Army ability may be going down here. I think so. Let's look up. Or is it one of my abilities? Oh no, that was Boris's AoE. But Corn is really threatening the middle objective. Swarming pretty heavily. The, the Skull Crusher is just absolutely dunked on my units there. Really took down the Chariots as well as the Infantry, and I would imagine their value is pretty insane. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Skull Crushers here. A really underrated unit. Yeah, 1,200 so far with a lot more to accrue. So I know I just need to hold the middle to win. It's going to be a very, very close game for sure. And he's going to need to get the middle to win as well. So the Wing Lancers are a great, great roadblock unit. They do okay damage on the charge. And now Boris is going in. The big Patriarch searching, uh, searching for a little bit of a revenge here on the Greater Demon. Able to kind of push him back there. And his bear getting those nice bites. Forcing back the Exalted Bloodthirster. While the Bariats as well as the Armored Cossars and the Streltsy continue to fight against the Corn Dogs. Very, very tough. And just hounds and annoying units everywhere. Roadblocking my guns. Really making it very, very tough for me to get the engagements I want. But now that we have Boris here, he's going to be fighting against the uh, Blood Crushers. And he will pack the big Armor Piercing Punch as his Lance does take one of those bad boys down. And the Winged Lancers do have terrible Armor Piercing and really bad sustained combat stats. They're really a shock cavalry unit. But they're holding things in place and letting Boris get in there and do the big damage. Now the Armored Cossars with great weapons creeping down from the high ground here. As the Kossavite Dervishes do move in to the Flesh Hounds of Corn, Really knowing the importance of just holding this objective. It's more important than just like even winning this fight here. I just need to make sure I get it. Now, 
Blood Letters moving down the hill, going to be surging down towards the objective as the Greater Demon makes his way back towards Boris and the Winged Lancers, who are starting to waver, but now they're unbreakable for another 16 seconds. The Kisselbite trade is so good, but the, the Greater Demon, yes, he's coming down from the sky, he's going to be engaging against Boris, Stand Your Ground is active. 24 melee defense putting up to 79, and the Greater Demon still 3,000 HP. Boris certainly taking quite a hammering here, but it's okay. He's going to fight to the bitter end. And those Skull Crushers, man, have just been a nightmare, just mowing through all my units. I think they could be a huge gem in this matchup. They have paid for themselves. A very expensive unit at 1,800, but certainly showing their uh, showing their metal. Now, just moving on with everything I can. Barriots are coming back in, summoning in more Winged Lancers. They will arrive. Strelzy coming from the high ground, going to be lending some fire support. And the back objective being threatened by Korn, but the Armored Kossar is holding like absolute champions against those guys. And it's such a close game. Very, very tight here. Boris holding as well. He's unbreakable for another 22 seconds. And this is what I'm talking about. He might not straight up beat a Greater Demon, but he's going to stand and fight and allow the rest of your units to really perform well on the battlefield. As the Great Tsar holds back the Bloodthirster and the forces of Kislev, probably going to be clinching the victory here with the Kossified Dervishes swarming onto the objective. And that is it. The Winged Lancers have arrived. GG. Really love Kislev. Playstyle is so much fun. I, I think hands down to them. I really like my three main competitive factions probably would be Kislev, Exalted, <laughs> Exalted Bloodthirster, I mean Korn. And uh, I really want to get Nurgle in there too. Nurgle is a little bit harder to play, but I do think Nurgle has some teeth for sure in some matchups. And honestly, Nurgle is fine against Kislev as well. But yeah, Boris was pretty cool. Bariots are awesome. 1,500, 1,300, 1,500. Boris you know, didn't do too hot since he was constantly swarmed. But the big thing about him is he endured. Like no other Kislev Lord could take a beating from a greater demon and like stand there. Uh, you know, Coastal Teen would have gone down despite his healing and other abilities. Bear Cavalry did okay. Winged Lancers held... You know, really a decent team effort. Streltsy did good when they were able to shoot, 1,200 and 1,000, but Korn is really good at shutting down missiles. Now, the Greater Demon, a whopping 3,000 value. Halberds were great as usual. It was just a back and forth rumble, 2,300 on those damn skull crushers and the stupid corn dogs, man. God, corn dogs are so strong, even against armor, 1,500, 1,300. But I think corn needs a unit like that. Like their signature unit should be that strong. I do not want to see the flesh hounds get nerfed. I think they're in like a good spot. They're really strong, but corn needs that. They don't have magic. They have to kind of play the game that way. Uh, anyways, yeah, very well played to my opponent here. It was a really, really fun one. I have an excellent matchup coming up in the next couple days between Kislev and Nurgle, where you get to see Boris going to town. I also have a really good Coastal Team matchup. Uh, lots of fun stuff on the horizon, and I will be doing a Domination Mode stream as well. So stay tuned for that. But once again, the, the Motherland doesn't need Endure. There is Kislev versus Korn. Boris is back in business. Really fun Lord, and uh, looking forward to uh, getting the Kislev guide out too, which might be a little bit later. I kind of want to like play more multiplayer matches before I do the guide. I had some problems with Nurgle as well as Korn where I like made the guide and then I played like 10 more games and I was like, wait a second, that's not right. My guide is, in, the, the, the guide isn't correct. You know, so I want to make sure I really know what I'm talking about like completely with Kislev before I make the guide. So got to do my wife proud. You know, the, the, the great winged lancers will indeed arrive. All right, that's it. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you next time. And that is it for now.